Hello and welcome brothers. So this is my review of all of the Death Watch models. I'll be doing another video, probably next weekend, showcasing the Eldar Harlequin models. I wanted to keep them separate, they may not be interested in the Eldar models and, and vice versa, but there'll be a, a main review of this box set in about a week's time on, on the Wednesday if, if nothing else has sort of come out. And that'll include both sets of models, I'll talk about the rules, I'll talk about the missions and so on. This Death Mask box set, it gives you plenty of options Space Marine wise, it'll give you Watch Captain Artemis. I didn't really play Inquisitor back in the day, but I found out that they were much bigger models and he was pretty good in that, sort of like a, a copied version of, of that model that they brought out for that gaming system. He isn't really that poseable, he's just a sort of special character. You can use him as a normal Watch Captain if you wish. I really like him. He's got plenty of detail. He's got that combi bolter with the, with the flamer called the Hellfire Extremis. Combi weapon. It's got a template. Strength 1, AP 5, Assault 1, Poisoned 2 plus. He's also got a Stasis Bomb 2. I think it's that one. Not 100% sure. But uh, that thing, basically you can resolve the attack at Strength D, AP 1. <laughs> Uh, if it misses, he suffers the, the hit, so yeah. He's got the D, which is a bit strange for a, sort of like a little model to have a D, but but then again, I think Wraith Guard have, don't they, with their with a D cannons or Wraith cannons, whatever you want to call them. So that's Captain Artemis, and then the rest of the Death Watch, you've, you've got this, which is a brand new sprue. I thought that it was just the Stern Guard sprue and then some extras. It's not. It's a brand new veteran... Um, sprue that includes all the weapons and ranged weapons, melee weapons that you could use on lots of other Space Marines, including a Vanguard set. So this is the new sprue um, with all the, the new Death Watch stuff and sort of similar sort of Stern Guard looking Space Marines. And then this is just a normal Vanguard uh, set in the box that you can use some of the extras with. And then it also gives you a Venerable Dreadnought. The only extras is just this this little eye here and that's it all in all it is just a normal venerable dreadnought so you get all of these uh, sprues and then you get the the small sprue that has 10 shoulder pads i think a sword a couple of helmets and a chest piece and the it has two of those big eye symbols and a smaller one which is here i've already put it on on him so we'll just go through both of those um squads you've got the option you can either make any of these, how you like, except for Artemis, well, you could mod him, but these three units you could make any which way. Your options are endless. Even with the Venerable Dreadnought, you can actually make the Assault Cannon and the Laz Cannon, uh, the Twin Link Laz Cannon, as well as the Plasma Cannon, and you can just interchange them. Absolutely fine, you don't need magnets, it's on It's on quite sturdy. Likewise, with the Power Fist, you can move that. That's on quite sturdy, they're not really gonna fall off, which is incredible. But if you wanna glue them, that's fine. This squad, you don't have to make the squad that's portrayed in the Death Mask book. I have, I've done it exactly the same, just because this Watch Force Artemis, which is a f formation, includes all of the things you see here with all the weapon types and, and all the rest of it. So I wanted to have that formation if if I wanted to use that in a in a game. But if you, for instance, I don't know, bought two of these box sets then yes, you could have the all of the other de de extra Death Watch Marines um, how you wanted. So you could have, well, maybe not four frag cannons, but you could definitely have two frag cannons um, with two sets, and you could have two uh, Infernus Heavy Bolters, um, and then you could have a, a Sergeant. That's fine. But I wanted to do it like it is in this book, because you've got specific squads and things. So this is Squad Krull, which I've completely copied with the exception of some of the, the faces and things i've even copied the the chapters that they're from all of the weapons that they're holding because you don't get options unlike the codex where you can have a veteran squad and you can basically cherry pick what what you'd like on each of them that's why no options gives you all the war gear and this is what they've got and that's what they've got no confusion and then the, the points are up there likewise the same for the vanguard squad type thing so we'll go through the veteran squad or squad Krull, called squad Krull, because the sergeant is um, Watch Sergeant Krull. He's got a combi melter, which is there, and the Xenophase blade, 
which pretty much means I think they it forces um, invulnerable saves to be re-rolled, successful re uh, invulnerable saves to be re-rolled. Um, it's, it's quite decent. All of them have frag and crack grenades and special ammunition, which is great. Two veterans have a bolt gun and a power sword. I think that's excellent. So you've got the power sword. They've all got uh, two attacks each as well, which isn't too bad. Um, so you've got this guy. Plenty of detail here. I don't know why there's a hair there. If you're looking at why the bases are different, that's because I'm using the, um, the new bases that... Uh, Games Workshop uh, released about a month or two ago. Same with the Dreadnought. I'm sick of black bases and I'm sick of the sort of cliff bases that they used to make. So that's why they've, they've all got these sort of special um, bases. Bolt gun and um, a power sword, which is great because you've got your special ammunition, which as you know, you know, it changes the, the sort of damage and the range and things like that of, um, of bolt guns. So that's one guy. And this is the other guy. I found out the reason why that they've changed the, the helmets is so that they can fit them behind this gorget uh, for the Mark 8 suit. That is, that is the reason why they're sort of like pug shaped. And then you've got one veteran has stalker pattern bolt gun, which is this guy. Not an amazing pose, but he is putting an extra magazine in. Yeah, not an amazing pose, but it shows some, some action in that he is putting another magazine into the bolt gun and stalker pattern bolt guns. 30 inch range, beautiful things. And then finally, one veteran has the Infernus Bolter, which is this heavy flamer with the um, heavy bolter that's actually an Assault 3 weapon, which is, yeah, brilliant. If only it was allowed to take special ammunition, like I think they used to, um, then it would just be ridiculous. But alas, you, you can't. So that's the squad crawl. Um, but like I said at the start, Feel free, you, you don't have to make squad crawl, you could make any veteran squad and you can change change the armour pads how you see fit. So if you've got the Death Watch Codex and you've got this box set and go, hold on a minute, I think I could make a better veteran squad than squad crawl or I want to make a veteran squad that's an purely anti-infantry or anti-tank, you've got that freedom to do that. You don't have to make the exact ones out of the box, which is great. Then we'll talk about squad Galatiel, which is this guy here, the Blood Angel. Um, he's got plasma pistol power sword, the only pistol in the in the squad. If that'll focus. They've all got the heroic intervention as well, and they can re-roll one or both dice when determining their charge range. Then two have a heavy thunder hammer. These I absolutely love. I'll just show you the difference between a normal thunder hammer and this heavy thunder hammer. So here's a normal thunder hammer. Oh, it doesn't show that well on the camera, but that's a normal thunder hammer. Yeah, this thing is absolutely massive. No wonder it's strength 10, instant death. Um, I think it's on a, on a 6. Don't worry too much. Like I said before, it is just a, a Vanguard box set, which is a bit of a shame. The veteran sort of set, you can then use the, the ranged weapons or melee weapons, however you want to you wanna use them. But obviously the Vanguard set has all your bolt pistols and chainsaws if you if you wanted to get them out that way. But remember these guys are the elite of the elite, so they're fine charging in with uh, with heavy thunder hammers. So two of them. Really nice looking models. But because they're a Vanguard set, you just got the Vanguard legs and the Vanguard jump pack and the breastplate and even the helmets. The only different helmet that I've used is actually the one that you get with a um, little sprue of eight shoulder pads, which is that that one there, the sort of Mohican one, with the, which is a really cool helmet anyway. But just bear that in mind that other than the melee weapons and things like that, they might look quite samey to your to your Vanguard, but this is supposed to be a completely separate unit to your your Vanguard. Um, squad in your in your chapter. One veteran is armed with a power sword and a combat shield. The sword is new, says honor on it. It looks quite decent. And I sort of tried to copy their pose. So that's that veteran. And then finally one of my favourite models, this guy with this storm shield and power mace. He looks absolutely brilliant. Really like that storm shield and it'd be great with the, the sort of silver inside it as per Death Watch. Shield is new, mace is new, 
shoulder pads new and the helmet's new everything else on oh, that shoulder pads new obviously but everything else is uh, what we've seen before and then finally the venerable dreadnought mentioned before exactly the same as normal venerable dreadnought but you just get this eye insignia um oh and i have used the the extra head from the little sprue in there so just the head and that is new from your normal venerable dreadnought set so there you go that's all of the new models um for this death mask box set i really like them obviously the space marines i would like them they're really epic models they're the elite of the elite and they'd sort of work well next to your vanguard or, or stern guard i would have liked to have seen an extra sprue for vanguard an extra sp sprue for, for stern guard instead of sort of mixing them all into the stern guard sprues but i've got every faith that games workshop probably released these five um as a set they could even release 10 as a set i've got lots of bits and um bits spare and i'll show you those uh in a moment and here we are plenty of spare parts these are all the um venerable dreadnought parts i you can make the um, twin ink glass cannon look and you can have that go on the venerable dreadnought interchange it the same with the assault cannon uh, I don't know whether you're gonna find much use for the extra sort of armor parts and the power fist type thing but there you go then these are the sort of 10 death watch uh, shoulder pads that you get they're all identical and then you also get this uh, death watch um, chest piece that I didn't use I didn't use um, some of the items that you'll see in the codex such as this cloak that you could use with a with a dark angel um, death watch he's even got a hooded um, face there likewise I didn't use the two shotguns which look immense and then there's a there's a frag cannon another power mace uh, another storm shield. I know they're probably just going to release these veterans as five of them for 20 or 25 pound I know they might release these five veterans as, as sort of five of them But really look how many spare parts you get you could at least make five or six different space marines just with those those extra parts uh, Heads wise, they're just pretty much the spare ones from the Vanguard set Speaking of which all this pile here is from the Vanguard set. So you've got loads of lightning claws chainsaws combat shields thunder lots of thunder hammers lots of um shoulder pauldrons lots of power swords still different pattern bolters here's one and here's one you only get one stalker pa pattern bolter which was a bit of a shame i was expecting quite a few of those because that'd be nice just kitting out a, a squad of veterans all with stalker patterns and you also get um some of the different chapters shoulder pads and um, such as i've got a white scars one there and then i've got a black shield one um and so on and that's all of the spare parts that come with the box that is the end of my review of the space marine death watch models in the death mass bot set if you have enjoyed this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe thank you for watching the emperor protects